high-level Arsenal players, incredibly respected people in the Arsenal community, mainly regarding the fact that they put tremendous effort into gaining levels. Today we will cover 10 individuals above level 700 who got banned from Arsenal, getting their entire careers stolen from them. This will be in the order of the lowest to highest level, with the highest level Arsenal player at the end of the video. From the greatest Arsenal closet cheaters of all time, to the most controversial bans in role of history, this is every high level player that was banned from Roblox Arsenal. This will start us off with Angry Aimer, a level 700 content creator who presumably has the best tracking out of anyone in the game. Angry would mostly post videos showcasing his incredible aim and tracking in Arsenal public servers, and would create plenty of Arsenal montages. Everything seemed okay and he was doing remarkably well in the YouTube scene compared to others, but everything would go wrong after one tragic day in Arsenal. As Angry got bored of Arsenal, he'd start focusing more on a game known as Kovacs, and this would eventually lead him to getting into a massive argument with Draco, and he'd eventually get perm banned from Arsenal for a quote unquote malicious behavior. According to Angry Aimer, Draco allegedly got Angry banned on purpose simply because he didn't like him. Regardless, the origin of the ban was unclear and it will remain as one of Arsenal's mysteries for eternity. After this incident, Angry would quit YouTube for a few months and ultimately return by evading his ban. Let me know what you think Angry did to get banned in the comments section below. Now Angry's ban may have been unfair, but it wasn't even close to being as unfair as the ban of PCMac104 who got completely framed. PC Mac was a level 715 and he was not a content creator in the game, nor was there any gameplay of him. This is why it was easier for him to get banned compared to other speedrunners. An account named Smile No Frown would upload clips to his channel of PC Mac quote unquote hacking at level 715. Now any sane person would know that there is nothing fishy about any of these clips and they are completely normal. This false ban would gain tons of attention in the high level community thanks to a former Arsenal content creator who goes by the name Christo Cream who debunked every clip put against PC Mac. This video will be linked in the description. The main reason why the mods concluded PC Mac's ban is valid is because in Smile's final clip, he shows a fly hacker going toward him and he ends up dying to PC Mac. This clip made it appear like PC Mac was the fly hacker and this is why he possibly got banned. Okay, now this one's probably the most sus. As you see, there's an actual fly hacker here. PC Mac shoots him with the golden gun. That wasn't PC fly hacking, by the way. This guy had the golden knife. And then PC shoots him with the golden gun, apparently behind this wall. But wait a minute! But if you slow the video down, you could see the guy playing covered PC uh, Mac with the book, so you couldn't see him there. He was literally peeking the entire time. Thanks to Rolf's kill cam, you could get this image from the video that proves he did not shoot through the walls he peeked the entire time it was the book covering it so that proves once again he is not hacking now even if pc mac was a cheater the evidence provided in smiles report was terrible and it was certainly not enough evidence to ban this guy at least pc mac didn't actually cheat which is something that the next player cannot relate to this was the level 718 known as z3 ronnie who submitted an Arsenal speedrun to speedrun.com while blatantly using silent aim. Ronnie was also caught XP farming by the Arsenal moderators in the past. This set his level to N slash A and he could no longer level up. This would force him to focus more on speedruns, regarding the fact that there was no point playing for levels anymore. However, speedruns were frustrating as it took forever to get any sort of world record because of how competitive the Arsenal community had gotten. So Ronnie would make one of the biggest mistakes in his entire Arsenal career, and that would be to submit a faulty run. He would exploit using silent aim or extended hitboxes in his video, and this run would be denied by the speedrun moderators. Another popular speedrunner known as Kalalboy, who's significantly experienced in the game, would make a video completely exposing Ronnie. Ronnie would delete all his speedruns and then leave every high level Arsenal discord. 
The fourth person on this list is 3T3TYT, who was a level 730 that would be banned from the game by XP farming, which is something that no one would anticipate. This ban was before Arsenal's rule of making XP farmers have the NA level. Before this addition, people would be banned from the game for about a month from XP farming. Guys are wondering, why is this guy banned? This guy is currently serving a 30 day ban inside of Arsenal for XP farming. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, we explained it earlier. This guy got loads of ults into a server and started killing them. He did it for two levels. Apparently, he got two XP levels from this. He ranked up twice and then got caught and got banned. Dude. Now, you'd suppose that this is all that 3T3TYT did, but this was proven to be false. A YouTuber known as Cactus would release a video called 1B1ing a hacker where you could clearly see 3T3TYT hacking blatantly in the video. Hey guys, Future Cactus here. And as I'm just going back and watching this video and going through to edit it, uh, it's become pretty apparent to me that this guy was actually cheating. Pretty blatant wall hacks and uh, probably aimbot as well. I can't really tell about the aimbot, but definitely wall hacks or um, ESP is what it's called. So... I don't know. Uh, I didn't know that he was cheating when I first did this, but I should have probably expected that he would have been if his friend's saying like, oh yeah, he's just like the best player of all time. But Guys, it's Cactus, and today we're going to be 1v1ing a really high level. Cactus would send this video to an Arsenal monitor, and his ban would be extended from about a month to a year, and 3T3T would make a goodbye montage on his YouTube channel, leaving the Arsenal community forever. 3T3TYT would be banned for about a year because of a small mistake, but this next person's small mistake would lead to a perm ban from the game. This was a level 888 that was named Aimbotistics, who was banned for ban evasion. Aimbotistics usually shared his account with many of his friends, but this would go on to stab him on the back, because one of his friends known as Proudcamp, who is an Arsenal content creator, would evade his Arsenal ban on Aimbot's account. Aimbotistics, without knowing this knowledge, would continue to let this individual ban evade on his account, until one day, Proud would be caught using this by Exone and would be perm banned. When Aimbot tried appealing, Exone would state that his account was his responsibility, which goes to show that sharing your Roblox account with others is a huge risk and you definitely should not do it, especially on such a valuable account. This mistake was nothing compared to the mistake that the level 850 known as Liboom King would make, who'd expose himself to the entire community in one day. Liboom was one of the most hated high levels in the game because of how egoistic and toxic he would get. He also had the lowest FPS out of any high level in the game. One day, he'd be caught XP farming by Exone and his level would be set to NA. This forced him to lose all care for the game, and he'd start hacking for fun against his friend W5RZ on screen share. One of the people in this VC would take a screenshot of Liboom cheating, and get him banned from Arsenal. Losing all his hard work, his account would also get terminated on YouTube for unknown reasons, and Liboom hasn't been on the internet ever since. At least Liboom didn't try to hide the fact that he cheated, which is something that the Arsenal YouTuber Jakepool7 wouldn't admit till this day. Jakepool7 used to be a really popular YouTuber in the community and would be respected at one point. His most viewed video which let him pop off on YouTube was the video called Every Arsenal YouTuber Is Here. Jake used to be one of the best low FPS players in the entire game and always claimed that he would be better with the new PC. But when Jake got his new PC, he barely changed in skill at all, and he still lost a lot of games. This would make him infuriated, and one day he downloaded a software called DX9ware, and would blatantly exploit on his alt account. He'd get blacklisted from tons of Arsenal competitive servers because of how obvious he was. Jake would think he'd get away with this because he didn't cheat on his main account, but he was mistaken. Someone would record Jake hacking on his alt account in their 1v1, and here is the video.
If you need proof that this account belongs to Jake Poole, he used it in one of his Arsenal montages as shown in the screenshot. The Arsenal moderator Fish and Chippy would find an unlisted version of this video and then ban Jake Poole from the game for 365 days. Jake would get extremely enraged, and he'd make a video trying to get his fanbase to believe that his ban was false, but the video would just be him making the most absurd claims that have nothing to do with his ban. Jake Pool 7 was lucky that he wasn't perm banned, which is something that the level 900 px underscore qz could not relate to after he got himself banned on purpose by triggering the role of anti-cheat system. PXQZ was an Arsenal content creator with over 1.34k subscribers in the game. He got popular by uploading some good speedruns that he obtained in Arsenal, and also some shorts during the Arsenal shorts era. According to PXQZ, he had one big problem. This was the fact that he was addicted to Arsenal. Every time he tried to quit, he'd end up coming straight back at it. Things got even worse when he started to dislike the game, but he still wanted to play it for some reason. So PXQZ decided to make a very controversial decision, which he claims he won't regret. He'd ping his Discord server to join his VIP, and then go on to use a Synapse script to falsely flag the anti-cheat and ban him permanently in the game. Lots of other high levels were astounded by what he did, and there was a huge talk in the Arsenal High Levels Discord about it. A popular YouTuber known as Josh would also make a video speaking about the entire situation, which is linked in the description of this video if you're interested in a deeper dive into the ban. At least PXQZ didn't actually cheat due to being bored of the game, which wasn't the same case for Too Quick, who was the highest level mobile player to be banned in Arsenal history. Too Quick was another Arsenal YouTuber who had around 2,000 subscribers and was mainly known for being one of the best Arsenal mobile players. Just like our previous high level, Too Quick was addicted to the game, and he really didn't care much about it anymore, so he decided to hack for fun against his friends. In the end, his ego would get the best of him, and he'd start closet cheating in competitive servers, claiming that he was legit. This would lead him to getting blacklisted from a few clips. One mistake he made was something that he would regret forever. This would be screen sharing himself cheating using a client called Thunder, and someone in the VC would take a screenshot of it and then report him the Arsenal exploit server. Too Quick would end up losing over 1000 levels in a span of a day, and he'd end up regretting this heavily. As time passed, the YouTuber Unpredictable FBS would interview Too Quick, and Too Quick would basically explain the entire situation. Now, this ban may have shocked everyone, but it wasn't as shocking as the ban of Unpredictable FPS, one of the biggest and influential people in the entire Arsenal community. FPS's ban was likely one of the most unique bans to ever exist in the history of Arsenal. FPS was a really respected creator, and he even had Orange Team once in the game. He ultimately got his Orange Team removed because Exone had some issues with the content that he was making. Unpredictable FBS continued on with his consistent upload schedule, and was probably the most viewed Arsenal YouTuber at the time. So what went wrong? Well one day he'd make a video essentially trying to help mobile players get the Opera GX bundle on Arsenal, because it was bug for them. This would involve an exploit in order to do this, which is something that Exone didn't want, and he would ban FBS for over 2 months because he apparently profited off an exploit. Creators such as Rainster, Lee Towners, and even 2Perfect would make videos talking about why the ban was unjust when FPS put so much effort into making Arsenal content. Let me know in the comments below if you think FPS's ban was fair or not. But now, we will talk about something you have all been waiting for, the highest level Arsenal player to ever be banned from the game. This was a player called KCROL a level 1200 who got banned from the role of anti-cheat. KCROL claimed that he was falsely flagged by the anti-cheat, which really doesn't make sense since this is very rare. Exone would comment on Twitter stating that KCROL was 100% an exploiter because the anti-cheat is quote unquote never wrong and that his ban will not be lifted. Now, in response to all the competitive players, Zone gave out his uh, own standpoint claiming that there's has been triggered through anti-cheat bans, which for those who do not know, on this post of Twitter, he says that whenever a program is capable of executing uh, Lua inside their game, so like their, their script, when you inject the code or whatever, it would change like how the game events and stuff would work, and then 
it would trigger that anti-cheat to detect the cheat. And then you'd automatically get banned based off that. So from what he says, that was the reasoning behind Casey Roll. Casey Roll had made one mistake, just like others, and that was the fact that he shared his account with his friend. Now I'm not pointing fingers as Casey Roll could very well be a cheater, but I think one of his friends got him banned from the game. If this claim is true, this again shows how dangerous sharing valuable accounts is, even with your closest friends. This definitely will be one of the most mysterious bans to ever exist in Roblox Arsenal history, and I doubt that the true reason he was banned will ever be revealed. Unfortunately, that is all for this video. I appreciate everyone who has watched the video until now, as it supports me a lot. Again, let me know your opinion on everyone's ban and if I missed anyone. Goodbye.